Hey guys, playbooks are Ansible's configuration, deployment, and orchestration language. At a basic level, playbooks can be used to manage configurations of and deployments to remote machines. Playbooks are written in YAML and consist of one or more plays. The goal of a play is to map a group of hosts to some well-defined roles which are represented by tasks. Now, these tasks are nothing but a call to an Ansible module. Ansible uses modules to accomplish most of its tasks. A module can do things like installing softwares, copying files, etc. etc. Now let's head back to our lab system. Now in this lecture, we will write our playbook and we will utilize a module called shell. Here on the screen, I have the help page for shell module. Now as you can see, the shell module takes a command followed by a list of space limited arguments and it executes those commands on the shell on remote machines. For Windows targets, you will need to utilize win underscore shell module. So this shell module works on Linux machines. Now here are some parameters that we can utilize when we are using the shell module. CHDIR changes into the directory before running a command. So for example, if you want to create a file in a particular directory, you will utilize CHDIR to go into that directory first before you run the command. Creates will only run the command if the file does not exist. If the file already exists on the remote system, this step will not be run. Executable allows you to change the shell used to execute the command. So for example, you are running your script in bin bash, but for some reason you want to run a particular task in another shell, you will utilize executable. Removes will not run the step if the file does not exist. So it's opposite to creates. Now stdin or standard in will set the standard input of the command directly to the specified value and warning will allow you to choose whether to enable task level warnings or not. If we go further down on the help page, you will see some notes related to the module. And then you will see some examples. For example, this is how you will utilize shell module. This is how you utilize shell module with some arguments. This is the use of chdir and creates. This is how you can run expect to wait for a successful pixie boot. And this is how you can disable warnings. So let's run the, let's create our first playbook using shell module. Now, I will need to go into my Ansible folder and then create a file. I want to call this file shell module example dot yaml. I could also type in yml, it doesn't matter. Once I've created the file, I will start with three dashes. And then after the three dashes, I will hit enter. And then the first thing I need to specify is the hosts that this playbook will run against. So host, and then specify the host group. I want to run this again dev. Now, at the same level as hosts, I need to specify tasks to tell the playbook that I'm going to write some tasks. Under task at the next level, so a space and then dash and then a space. I will type in name and the name I'm going to give is 
create a simple file using shell module now at the same level as name I'm going to call shell module and then I need to specify the command that shell module will run so let's do touch my test file.txt now what we want to do is we want to create this file under a specific directory so let's do args to specify some parameters now at the next level from args which means after typing in sp space I will type in chdir slash home slash user so lab it and then downloads under the user and creates and I will do a creates on my test file dot txt so basically what our playbook will do is it will create a file called my text my test file dot txt in directory home lab it downloads and it will run a check before it tries to run the command that if the file my test file dot txt ex exists on the remote machine or not if the file already exists it will not create the file again now we can finish it up by typing in three dots now let's save the playbook and let's try and run it so ansible playbook and then I need to specify the path of my playbook so documents ansible and then the name of the playbook so shell module example.yaml and I can hit enter now it has started to run the playbook which means our playbook does not have any syntax errors one thing you might want to note when you're writing your playbooks is these spaces you have to be very accurate with these spaces if we move a space here or there and the line is not at the correct level it, where it should be you will have an error now we've got some output so let's increase the terminal size so we ran the command to run our particular playbook now play dev is telling us which set of hosts the play is running against I'll tell you about gathering facts later in this lecture or rather in this course and then it says ok and then it gives us the host name against which it is going to run so dev.testlab.com then task and this is the name we gave to the task create a simple file using shell module and then it gives us some warning that you should not use touch we should actually use something else but it's okay and then changed dev.testlog.com means that our playbook was successfully run and as a result the remote machine was changed and then it gives us a play recap that the play was run against this particular host there were two okays it changed something there were no unreachables no fails now if we go to our remote machine and if we do an ls here you can see that we have a file called mytestfile.txt here now because we used creates in our task if I was to run this playbook again my expectation is 
that this task will not be run because the file already exists. So if I hit an up arrow and hit enter, let's see what happens. Now in this one, we have play and then dev the set of hosts. Then the task create a simple file using shell module. And in the play recap, we have changed is equal to zero. So here we had changed is equal to one, which means it created the file my test file. Here, when we ran it the second time, we have changed is equal to zero. And that is because it did not create the file this, this time, it skipped the task. With this, we have come to the end of this lecture. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.